If you're interested in learning more about BetAngel, its tools and the opportunities they present, then why not visit BetAngel.com today and download a free trial. So we are going to be treated to some group racing this week over a multi-day flat racing festival at Newmarket. That sounds good, doesn't it? It's the Newmarket Craven meeting. And when I think of the word Craven, this is what I think of. This is BBC One. And now it's time for John Craven's News Round. And no doubt that is because uh, a person of my age uh, can relate to that. I hope some of you can. And I hope some of you can't. <laughs> but yeah, um, difficult for me to think of anything other than that when you mention the word Craven. I now think of uh, Country Farm. But the interesting uh, thing about the Craven meeting is it is a three-day meeting. And it's, you know, it is the first sort of uh, decent bit of flat racing uh, that we have. Uh, you generally get Group 3 racing here. Um, so it's, you know, higher quality, not amazing, uh, but obviously decent quality, especially for the middle of the week. And you'll obviously get um, the, the Craven. We also get the Nell Gwyn and the Earl of Sefton. And I think there's probably one other as well. They all sound very grand. Um, it's, it's funny, actually, how horse racing sometimes gets you into history because I didn't have much appreciation of Nell Gwynn and the history, uh, but I was quite intrigued as to why the race was named after her. So yeah, yeah Google that if you wish to find out. But yeah, it's a, a good opportunity. And as I mentioned in a previous video, you know, Easter isn't unbelievably good, um, the, the racing over the bank holiday. Um, so this is actually a good opportunity to sort of, you know, push you forward a bit. And, you know, if you didn't do Easter, then you can do the New Market Craven meeting. And of course, you know, I'm highlighting, I'm using these videos to highlight these meetings. You can go off and find uh, where all of these key meetings are and their significance. If you go to the British Horse Racing Board website, they have entire fixture lists and the key events and races. And they, you can also, on Wikipedia, they tend to list races um, by quality as well. Group 1 being the highest, Group 3 being the lowest, highest quality, if you understand where I'm going from. But um, yeah, all the group racing is listed on there. So you can start to work that into your schedule and focus on some of those key races. But the characteristics you should see is that the markets um, are a little bit more readable. Well, that's, that's how I tend to find them. And therefore I tend to be quite interested in focusing in on and trading some of these group races. Um, now, if you're trading conventionally, and by that I mean you're not at the same level as me, then you'll obviously f uh, find a little bit of a subtle difference in the way that these races trade. But um, it's important to understand that uh, all of the traditional racing is just as important as some of these bigger races that only come round infrequently, but they will trade slightly differently, so you may want to adjust it. For me, when I see a group race on the card, then I tend to get a little bit more aggressive, use larger stakes and so on and so forth. But yeah, uh, check out the New Market Craven meeting this week.